Hello. Hello. It's me. It's us. It's us. It's me. It's me. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you feeling about this? Are you not loving it? Do you want to turn the overhead lights off? Oh, thank you. <laughs> you read my mind. You read my mind. Right, hello everyone. This is probably the first sit down video I've done in about three years. I mean, same to be honest. Yeah, I this... don't really film sit down videos. Do you remember <laughs> I used to have like that massive setup? You have all the lights. Oh, so did I. Everything, the mic. The mic. Oh. Hi. No, I just think like technology has evolved. We've done a Q&A, an updated one, 2023 Q&A on Zoe's channel. Yeah. Um, so we decided to follow it on on this channel to do some advice, mm. hopefully give some good advice. Oh. Yeah. Just I, call us your agony aunts. Agony aunts, I've seen some right tinkers on there, oh, which we good. Oh, I'm excited. I feel like we do this every couple of years. Yeah, I think also just to like preface this video, we're not experts. No, hell no. This is just, if you were a friend coming to us, yeah. this is what we would this say. This is what we'd say, I love that. Always seek professional advice. Yeah, and If help. you feel you need it and help if you feel you need it. Just wanted to like start it with that. Yeah, and we go by what we've experienced. Yeah. Maybe, maybe some things will be asked we haven't experienced. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Here we go, balls deep. Okay, so, I'm not obviously gonna say your name. Started sexting my supervisor. Good <gasps> idea or nah? He's such a lovely guy though. Supervisor, so they're above the supervisor is above them in work? Yes, so it must be like a general manager. I definitely feel like I would be in this situation. Yeah. This is the sort of question I'd ask you. In the workplace, is it a good idea? I've got to be completely honest. I can say it now because he's left. I fancied one of my managers. I've had a work relationship before. Have you? Mm. <gasps> Whilst you were still working together? Mm. Why miss out? I just feel like work shouldn't impact whether you really like someone or not like mm -hmm. this could be your person yeah they could go on and find another job in two weeks time yeah you never know start the ball rolling as long as they're not in a relationship <laughs> yeah it's done professionally you're not like doing anything unprofessionally at work the only thing i will say is when i was in a relationship with someone who was also working we were working in the same job we had a lot of arguments Really? I mean, he was an absolute bell end to the core. So that could be why. Mm. But I feel like if he was being really like professional, you know that episode of Gavin and Stacey where he's on the phone and he's like speaking and she thinks that he's speaking to her and she gets in a massive strop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a bit like that where okay. it was like, oh, I don't like that attitude you had with me because we were at work. Right. It was very like, I feel like as long as you set boundaries and you have rules around work, yeah. I think then it would be fine. If it, if it progresses onto anything. But if you're just sexting right now, then I don't see the harm. How did it start? That's what I want to know. How do you start oh sexting God, your yeah. supervisor? Like, did you brush Christmas past party. at the Christmas party? Oh, yeah, I I think as long as it's professional and it's not getting in the way of your job and you're setting boundaries, why not? Like Zoe said, they could be the person of your dreams. The only thing I guess is if it goes a bit pear-shaped. Uh, or, I don't know, there's like tension. I guess that could make your work life really miserable. Just be aware of the um, the cons. Yeah, and the consequences. Cons and consequences. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Oh, no. Oh, How deep are we going? Oh, just whatever you think. Okay, so I fell in love with someone who's unhappily married. Ooh. Difficult for them to end it because of kids. Trust them? No. No. How long have you guys been seeing each other? Because if it's a really long time and he's stringing you along as well, that's also not cool. Yeah. Like, it's just not cool in all areas there. I met someone at the pub the other day who was very unhappily married. It's so complex. Yeah. But also, I just feel like if you were the person that, is it he? He would want to be with. Yeah. If you were the person he wants to be with, he should be dealing with that and then coming back to you. If that's re if you guys are really, really meant to be mm. and it's just really unfortunate for you that you've met this person that you're in love with who's already kind of in something, I think personally it's really unfair on the, this person mm. because he's not dealing with this. Yeah. And I also can say in my experience, this is just my experience, my parents are divorced and there is a part of me that is like, seeing two parents happy is far better for kids than 
two parents who don't really want to be together staying together yeah. for the kids yeah i feel like you can't also be waiting around for anyone as well no. i just feel like with less kids involved and marriage involved and mortgages and everything yeah it's very tricky but um i think the ball is not in his call but he needs to sort out a lot more um yeah and I, i'd love to know how long that's been a thing because yeah. if it's if it's like a month mm. then you know give oh him God. time it's a very big thing it's a big decision please dm us this has been going on for like a year that's very unfair on the other it's unfair on everyone yeah it's unfair on literally everyone i would personally m move on mm. from the person in the relationship just until they've sorted their shit out yeah true i don't want to be that person in my eyes i don't want to be that person who's waiting around if and when they decide your to life on pause. Yeah, I've yeah, got no time. Fair. Yeah, it's very true. This is why I hate doing these videos because I want to know everything about I all know, these questions. I know, it's just a tiny little question box. <laughs> <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, I feel like you've babe. said that before all of them. Oh, here we go. I've been with my boyfriend for two years and just not feeling it anymore, but also don't want to lose him. Uh, I mean, two years, okay, is a long time, but it's not that long. It's not like eight, nine years. Yeah. Um, can some relationships become, remain friends after, depending on how you end it? Yeah, of course. I've never been in a full-time relationship. That could be a teeny bit selfish. What, same with him? Yeah. Yeah. What your partner doesn't realise is that you're not into, in into them anymore, but they could be meeting new people or like, I don't know. I just yeah. feel like there's a little tiny part of me. I totally get it because it's so scary to think of like the alternatives. But in that situation, you do have to think about the other person as well. Yeah. And I just feel like if you came to me and said that, I would be like, what's the point of staying? Yeah. What? What's making you stay? What's the point of staying? And you don't want to lose them. Okay. But you're kind of holding on to them. And they don't realise that's how you feel. Yeah, what what are the reasons why you don't want to lose him? Do you want to lose him for like certain things or because you love him in your life or you want to remain friends? But yeah. it's also, it is like you said, like also by the way guys, if you are listening to any of these questions and you want to chirp in, please do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the comments. If you want to say you're talking shit, <laughs> yeah. this is what I would Put do. your two pence in. Yeah, I think as obviously you get older as well, there's you do think about other people more. Yeah. You, ha you have to think about other people because everyone is getting older and you don't want anyone else to lose out on experiences, especially after the two years we had in the pandemic. Mm. Life is short. For you and for the other person. Yeah, it really like, is. Like if you're, you're not feeling the same and you want to, you don't, the relationship's never going to go anywhere. It's unfair on that person too. To, if like, you don't keep see, them there. yeah, if you don't see yourself marrying this person don't you can't force yourself to love anyone no. either, which is a hard truth and something that i've had to deal with every single person i've liked you can't force anyone to like you it doesn't mean you couldn't still be friends i think it really depends on how it ends yeah like if you're both in a place where you can have a respectful conversation and it's not gotten any like there's no nastiness then there's nothing to say that that person won't still be in your life in yeah. some capacity. I personally am not really friends with any of my exes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what I always think about is like how, not good, but how relieved will you feel once it's over? Mm. That way, oh my God, I can't imagine. But also it could be a case of it's all you've known for two years and the unknown is actually a little bit scary. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's never going to be easy. It's not going to be nice, but there is like life beyond that. And that's kind of what you need to focus on for you and your partner. Ooh. <laughs> I, I would be annoyed. I'd be like, oi, just, you should have just got rid of me. Yeah, because then they might find the love of their life. Yeah. Okay, so this is a question, but this also, also could be an advice. Um, what red flags in a guy are a big no-no for you? Mm, doesn't like animals. Doesn't like animals. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Liars, frauds, no, you were scoundrels. Just like, liar. <laughs> <laughs> Narcissists. Yeah. Selfish. Do you know what I think is a massive red flag? When someone doesn't want to show you off. When you're a bit of a secret. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Show me off. Yeah, I don't that's, mind. That is the biggest red flag. Yeah. When they haven't met the friends. Haven't met the family. No. Yeah. Something I, going on there. Yeah. 
Definitely. Was he? Didn't want me on as his girlfriend on Facebook. Not on Facebook. Back no, in our time. Really, Jesus Christ. Really. Or choose with their mouth open. Oh yeah, I mean that's some red flag in anyone to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I think manners, how they treat people, mm -hmm. how they treat people on the street, waiters, staff. workers, staff. Yeah, I was oh say. my god. Because I, I swear if I was on a date with the love of my life and they treated someone any less than them. You'd be out. That's it. See you later. Ta ta. Ta da love. <laughs> I'm going completely out to prove my point. I do you know what's really psychotic? If someone was to be like, oh, like to be in competition with my friends, like say I brought someone round and they were just like, a bit competitive. Yeah, but being like, oh yeah, I know Mark more than you. Like oh, that, that sort of thing. That's an ick. Where I'm just like, oh no, but like if I was to go out with like you, with him or my sister and he was to turn around and be like, oh no, Mark wouldn't want that. Like, just something Even like I that. would be like, that's a red flag. Yeah, like, oh, if someone was to be like, oh no, Mark, you don't like that, or... Speak for you. Don't speak for me. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Nah. Nah. Like, I, in some cases, it's quite romantic if a guy was just like, oh, you like that lobster, you're going to go for that, or something like that. Like, I do like a man who takes charge. But if there was somebody ordering for you to the waitress, oh, he'll have this. Yeah, I'd be like... Pfft. Oh, bin, shut them. them. Oh, bin, shut them. Oh, there's a lot of relationship ones. Ooh. How to find make new friends. How to find make... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Join a club. What club? Extracurricular club. But what if you're an introvert like yeah. me? Because joining a club just... I wouldn't do it on my own. One... I wish I was. I wish yeah. I was confident enough to do that, but I'm just not. But you're great once someone starts speaking. Really? Yeah, I feel like if someone like if we're out and someone's chatting to you, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then I don't think like I But you... like going to a club, like if I rocked up to like I don't know, a mum and toddler group by yeah. myself. Really? I just can't handle it. I get no. like squeaky bum hole. Oh. That's probably one of our biggest differences. Yeah, because you love it. Yeah, if I went with you, mm. I wouldn't make friends because I'd just be with you. <laughs> I always say when I do my solo travelling, which is, this is really high. Like, if I want to go out and I'm like, yeah, do you know what, I'm going to speak to people. Not, it doesn't work all the time. I sit at the bar. And you wait for them to come to you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and they start oh. flopping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like find what your passions are find what your hobbies are take that first step I mm. just think that, like ugh, coffee shops libraries get to know the people that work at like coffee shops or something easy in practice um, it is the most difficult thing in the world but it's one of those things where you just have to do it you can't prepare yourself mm. you can't if you overthink it you'll never do it and I suppose actually there's groups and things online if you feel a little bit more like oh I'd rather like get to know people in an online setting and then extend it further out into like meeting in real life yeah because that's what happens sometimes like yeah. these fans of these certain things talk for years and then they meet up yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. oh my god like car boot sales, oh my god, go to car boot sales and meet people at the stalls. They're all going to live locally. I don't know, you've got all got like... Because I've always said that, don't... Because if this makes it to cut, I know someone has stolen this idea. <laughs> there should be a sitcom about every episode is just filmed at a car boot sale. Oh, I would love that. How has that never been made? I don't know. Just like all the different characters meeting each other. They go there every week, they, like, they become friends. It is hard, it is scary, it is daunting. But it's just one of those things, like if you want to make new friends... You've got to get out of your comfort zone you a little do. bit. You yeah, do. Um, I guess be prepared. In the same way as like dating, it's kind of like dating. It is. You've got to also be a little bit prepared for rejection, I suppose. Yeah, I think there is some sort of like singles club for like friends, like Bumble Friends or something. Is there? Yeah, there's like a Bumble Friends option on the Bumble Hinge. No, I don't think it's Hinge, but like some app you can make friends. Oh, that's nice. Um, but I know I'm not going to go back to Scream, but I'm going to say it. Like, when I went to the Scream house, I went on my own. And I, like, I still talked to all the people I met there. You're but, so good at that. Yeah, I think because... Do you still speak to them? Yeah, all the time. Aww. But we have, like, a common interest. So yeah, it's, like, nice true. that we can, like, still talk about it. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to be, like, best mates all of a sudden. You, like, you, like, you grow to become friends. Yeah, that's true, actually. I feel that's a very good point to take away. If you are going to do it, don't expect an instant friendship. Exactly. Yeah. Some things take a while to build. They Our do. friendship didn't. Yeah. 
but some friendships do just take a little while. Ours was like a mm. alien flower. <laughs> yeah, it's like bloop bang. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good luck. We'll be your friends. Yeah, we'll be your friends. Um, how to feel sexier in your own skin? Oh, I feel like asking me right now. Stop it. I probably feel the least sexy I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a <laughs> not me. <laughs> I feel the least sexy about my whole life. <laughs> Comedic timing. That was well amazing. Done. Well done, Nala. I don't. I don't ever feel sexy at all. It's all about confidence, isn't it? Like you wake inner up. Inner confidence. Yeah, inner confidence. You wake up and like, do you know what? Yeah, I'll double take myself in the mirror. I look alright. Yeah. I would. And it's it's not about how, yeah, how you come across to other people. It's how you feel inside. It's how you feel inside. And there's loads of things you can do, like self-care and just like what you dress, what you smell like. Sometimes I think fake tan fixes everything. Fake tan fixes everything. And I don't do it enough. Maybe yeah. I just need to put some fake tan on. Yeah. I put my extensions back in. For me, I think it's all about like experimenting. Mm. Like I'll spend a bit more care on my skincare or I'll spend a bit more time on my hair or my makeup or I'll change something up and then be like, oh, actually, that looks quite nice. Or I'll spend a bit of time in my wardrobe and be like, right, what do I feel good in? Not, yeah. not just like, what am I going to throw on and be like, meh, it looks okay. But like, what do I feel good in? Mm. And then I feel good. But I don't know if I, if I could say I've ever felt sexy. When I was pregnant, I felt sexy. Did I you? loved what my body looked like when I was pregnant. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I was just like, I look fucking amazing. Mm. No, I love that. If I could just have a bump. All the time, I would. <laughs> I ha I'm gonna buy a fake one. Do it. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I, w I just, I like what it looks like. Like I got so used to seeing this bump, yeah, and styling it, and just it being like, oh, this is like a part of my body that I've never had before. Oh, interesting. Been chatting for hours. Um, it's a bit, bit like going to the gym. Yeah. Like working out and just being like, oh, do you know what? Look, put that bit of definition. Mm, Feel good. So true. But it shouldn't be about how you look on the outside. It should be in the inside. Like learning a new language. Learning something new, like a new language. That could be like sexy. You That's know what true. I mean? Yeah. Or like. Buy some new underwear. Buy some new underwear. Do you know what? I actually did buy myself some new underwear not that long ago. And when I put it on, I was like, mm. Mm, I feel good. Do you want to see the one I bought? Yeah. Do you want to show you? You show me yours. Is it a jock strap? I actually had to wear a jock I don't think I took a picture of my of me and mine. For my um Do you take like sexy mirror selfies? Yeah. Do you? Yes just for you. Yeah, just for me. This is them. So you know the trousers I wore on New Year's Eve? Did I show you them? They had like the slit down the middle, they were like yes. yeah. I had to wear a jock strap for that. Oi oi. Wow, Ferris. I'm gonna show you guys. Nice. Nice. I was like, Do you know what? I'm gonna wear them tonight. The least sexy I've ever felt. In my, life. <laughs> in my entire life. I feel like we compliment each other a lot. Oh yeah. Friends make you feel sexy. Friends 100%. make you feel good. Friends, family should lift you up. I'm so savage about myself. You are. And if I was to ever I would say never about... speak, I would never speak to anyone else like that. No, but if I was to say that about myself, you'd give me a little slap on the bum. I would. <laughs> I never feel sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like Nala, you really do snore away down there. Mm, tough crowd. Oh, how about another one? <laughs> That's my Australian Siri. Oh, oh hey, I can't find it. Hey Siri, how do you? Hey Siri, how are you so sexy? That's embarrassing. I'm too sexy Before for my, my car. You know you're single when you're getting pied by Siri. Me and one of my mates made out a few times. No one, no, no one of the group knows. Been there. You have. I've been there. And a few times. A few times. And you know what? You've got to stop. You don't want anything to ruin a friendship, to be honest, do you? Yeah, that's, pretty, that's a bit tricky. You don't want to ruin a friendship. You don't want to make things awkward. If you can laugh about it, amazing. Do your other friends need to know about it if they do? Nah. nah they probably don't. Just keep it your own little <laughs> secret and let it, like, fizzle away and so you can remain friends. Yeah, and then when you're, like, 30 years time, you can laugh about it. Mm. Or maybe you'll be together. Or maybe you'll be together. Yeah, don't overthink stuff like that. I just think all friends at some point in friendship groups especially,
went through that sort of skins era. Oh yeah, I did in sixth form. It yeah. was like everyone's boyfriend had been everyone's boyfriend. Started drama school in September, struggling to be myself at, at all around new people. Been there, not to drama school, didn't get invited back. You tried. <laughs> I tried, but I did not succeed. No one feels themselves. Especially in a new situation yeah. like that. Like, but also you have to remember everyone is also probably new, so you're probably not the only one feeling like that. Wait, read the question again. Was it that they don't feel like... Started drama school in September, struggling to be myself at all around new people. I think a lot of people will be feeling exactly, exactly the, the same, same way as you because you're all in this new thing together and I think maybe just hang on to that a little bit more and like use that as like your are you feeling a little bit like uh, as well yeah. like I'd probably do that and I think like acting as well is the best way to vent all your feelings out yeah um, act just pretend just be oh my god yeah come That's on why you're there just pretend <laughs> <laughs> pretend you've got it all together yeah, yeah just put on an act put it on an act yeah that's what I would do act confident never ever heard a siren around here it's because you're real probably <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Be delusional. And if anyone can do that, an actor can do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think just take solace in the fact that I'm imagining most people probably feel the same as you. I never went to uni, but like freshers week is a thing for a reason because everyone's new. No one knows each other. Everyone feels a little bit, a bit uneasy. Most of the people have never lived away from home before. Yeah. Like that is a huge huge deal like mm. if you didn't feel slightly uncomfortable or a little bit uneasy or like you couldn't be yourself i'd be more concerned yeah exactly so we would I, have to be telling you to pipe it down yeah. a bit <laughs> rain, it it in, down. Love. rain it in i know you're at drama school yeah but cut it out cut it out yeah um you're not gonna feel completely comfortable straight away just yeah. give it time sort out your posture walk <laughs> in oh <laughs> Stop fucking slouching. <laughs> Stop slouching. <laughs> Walk in. It's gone really dark all of a sudden. I don't know if any of you have noticed. I oh, has. It's half five. No, it's not. <laughs> You've gone out of here. <laughs> Should we end it on a few questions? Got only got time. <laughs> Imagine if I was just on the camera then. Do you remember when I told you to let me look at your photos and you wouldn't let me? Yeah. And then I tried to go and you were deleted and you, and you freaked out. Yeah. Why? What were you hiding? Was I? I don't know. <laughs> nah, you no, would never. No, it was never that. No, but that was funny. Would you let me look through your photos now? Yeah, of course. Would you? Yeah, <gasps> honestly. Oh, see, that shows how much but deeper just, our friendship is. Deeper, and like the confidence. I don't, there was never anything on my phone. I think it was just the... To be fair, it's a bit forward of me, really. Yeah, but <laughs> I love that, but I think that it was very forward. I, I it was, was more of a joke. Yeah, but then also like of me not having the confidence in myself to show you the photos that I wouldn't post of myself, like the uh, what they oh, called. Oh yeah, but you were in such a different headspace. I know, but that's, that's probably the reason why. It would have been like, oh no, I don't think I look nice in these photos. Yeah, I, like, genu oh, I genuinely think it would be. Oh, that makes me so sad. Yeah, but I never really thought about it like that. Like, I never thought of it like that. It's just like, oh shit, I don't want to show anyone. I I don't even want to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, please, what eye cream do you use? <laughs> uh, Arnica cream. Mm. It's amazing. Best way to get Harry Styles to notice me? Well, mm. you tell me. Well, when I went to see him in June, I shouted out when he went quiet. I was just like, marry me! Oh, yeah. You, you did that when I went with you as well. I'll do it again. I'll uh, hold it up. Absolutely not. I'll hold it up. Mm. What, do you remember her, Arrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reckon he would. He's nah. the sort of guy he would. Nah. Yeah. Nah. And he's going to be like, oi, you two, come backstage. Uh, how do you guys maintain a long-term friendship, especially being in different stages of life? <sighs> friendship is at the forefront of everything. Yeah. If it's true friendship... Then hurdles don't matter. Hurdles don't matter. And also different phases of life don't matter. Like, I have to be honest, when I knew I was going to have Ottie, there was a tiny part of me that felt really sad. This is going to sound a bit selfish, maybe. I don't know. I guess it's just me being honest. But I was like, I don't know if my time with Mark will be the same. Oh. Because I was like, I value that so much. And I'm like, how will we, how will we do this? How will we do that? Yeah. Like, and also not just you, but like lots of my friendships and like lots of my relationships. Like it kind of makes you think about things. Cause you're like, how am I gonna do that when I have a child? 
But really, like, even if we wanted to go away for the weekend, Alfie would just have that. Exactly, or like, yeah. I don't know. And also, I just feel like she adds to it. She adds to it. It's like, it's more fun times. We get to do all the kids stuff now. Yeah. I mean, we've had a good solid six years. Mm. And I just think it's... <laughs> What have I done? There was like a small part of me that was like, is this going to change everything? Mm. Is Mark not going to want to hang out with me because I'm going to... Have a baby. Have a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I always knew you would. Yeah, but um, it, it does. It, like, it makes the time that we... It's a huge life difference. Yeah, huge it? life difference. But it does make the time that we do spend together that extra bit special. Yeah, like, we, I agree. We still speak all the time. Yeah. And yeah, if it's real friendship, it won't matter. Mm. Also, I just feel like when you have a friend for life, you're both going to go through shit. You're both going to go through huge life moments. And a true friend is just always going to be there. You'll still like, need each other. Yeah. yeah. When, I, when, I, when I'm when i when i travelling next week, so I was like, don't forget to put your find a friend on so I can keep track of you just to make sure you're all right. <laughs> I was going to think I'm another. <laughs> oh, no, but not in that sense. <laughs> Not in that sense. Just so I can always see where you are. <laughs> just to like look out for me and it's just stuff like that. Like she might not be there at like this, these massive things. I'm like your honorary parents. You are. <laughs> like, my parents don't give a fuck about me when I'm here. Honestly, they don't care. They don't they care. They know I look after yeah. you. And like if the friendships are there, there's like different stages and it's exciting. Like you, you can fulfill me with all these things that I... I'm not experiencing. Mm. And when I quizzed you on what a vernix, what vernix was, <laughs> do you remember? And I, did, what did I say? <laughs> you said something really funny, but I, I can't did? remember what. What's vernix? I don't know. Have a guess. Is it like? Is it something that comes after the birth? <laughs> That's um the placenta. Oh, close. <laughs> close, close. It's the stuff that's on the baby when it's born. The white stuff. <laughs> <laughs> see i'm learning exactly and it's exciting it's fun and i think like it like as i said true friendships whatever stages it's, yeah. it's what makes a friendship like you're going to lead different lives as you get older but also when when i had that thought of like oh my god how's this going to change like my friendships i equally was like i'm so excited yeah to like tell my friends and like be able to like know in my head oh my god when me and mark go to the garden center otty come there's a child i want to go to all the farms oh my god like all the stuff and i just like lego land you can't go there without a kid also you have to take her on the rides because i can't exactly <laughs> obviously we need to take into consideration we're very lucky that we don't have like the everyday sort of job mm -hmm. so obviously we don't really we can see each other during the day and stuff yeah. like that yeah, um, we're both very flexible. Yeah, flexible, that's it. Yeah. Uh, just very lucky. We are lucky. How will I know? Oh, oh no. <laughs> She's out. <laughs> Two karaoke together this year. Let's go to Lucky Box. Lucky Voice. Lucky Voice. Let's do it. Lucky Box. You still owe me a night out. <laughs> I know. No, to be fair, I'd I'm never still take gonna you. still going to do it. I'd never take you to London, though. No? We'd have a night out in Brighton. Do you think? Yeah. We're, we're coming to a, um, what's it called? Compromise. I don't even go out in Soho anymore. I was gonna say, I don't even even really feel like you've been out in London that much. No, I haven't. Been to Putney, mm -hmm. like East Dulwich, and like house parties to be fair. I'm like, I'm making the transition from like clubs to dinner parties. Got you. To the dinner. house party is in the middle. Mm -hmm. How will I know? How to, oh my God, this has got me written all over it. Okay, how to navigate first impressions. Cause I'm an overthinker. Mm. Sometimes I go into a situation where I'm like, fuck me, I, I think I was a bit intense. Did I say something inappropriate? You do do that a lot. I do, and I'm like, oh God, what if they hate me if they never want to speak to me again? Because some people like you could go up to and be like, hey, how are you? Lovely to meet you. Oh my God, you look amazing. Your hair, where have you got it? And that could be really overwhelming to, yeah. for some people. And I feel like, it just depends. I think you just can't always go off of a first impression. You cannot. Because you don't know what version of that person you're getting. Have they had a hard day? Have they had a stressful day? Are they drunk? Are they drunk? Are they sober? Mm -hmm. Are they out having a good time or out having a bad time? 
are they overcompensating? Yeah. You just don't know. I think you can't overthink anything. And like, no. I, I've got a lot better at it, but obviously there are certain times like, oh, should I have said that? But I think that's just with anything. And also, if you're like me and you find like small talk a bit uncomfortable, God, people's mm -hmm. first impression of me must be that I'm just some weird, awkward <laughs> person that can't have a conversation. Mm. But then when you actually get to know me, you're like, oh, okay. You love a deep chat. Yeah. Yeah. And small talks, I just find that so, I'm just not very good at it. Whereas I feel like if we went speed dating tonight, I'd smash a oh, speed dating. Oh, you'd smash it and I'd be the most uncomfortable, awkward. But I would do it because I, w I don't care. I would literally ask anything random, but then afterwards I would be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, should I ask that? But then, but then I think even if you did the opposite, so let's just say you and I were the complete opposite, mm. I would still go, oh, like I should have said more. I should have asked more and like, oh, I was so dull. Yeah, one of the first things I said to was like, where do you want your ashes scattered? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna buy you a hanky. Please do. <laughs> Did you see my story the other day where I had the tissue poking out? Oh my god, I don't know what I was thinking. Didn't you do a poll? Yeah. Yeah. That's an ick, apparently, to some people. I did say that was an <laughs> Did you? <know? laughs> yeah. <laughs> if a man pulled a tissue out of his sleeve, would you not just be like. I'd be like, what are you trying? It's like, did a magic trick. <laughs> See, look, allergic to dogs. I think you are. Mm. Um, but yeah, you can't overthink it. Just embrace no. life, embrace your quirks, embrace yourself. And just remember that a first impression is is just that. It's the first one. Yeah. Like, there'll be many, many more. And I think that's when you'll get to know someone and they will get to know you. Yeah, and if someone like bases you off a first impression, you don't want to be friends with them anyway. Nah. You don't. <laughs> So true. I was shit scared meeting you. Why? I was like, after that party, I was like, oh my <laughs> why god. Am I, why am I reclining? <laughs> yeah, no. After the, our first meet, I was like, oh my god, she is never gonna invite me ever. When I was why? talking to Jim, I literally leant on a wall that wasn't there. Lola? Lola? What are you doing? Hello, Serena. She's our cameraman. When you what? When you were talking to Jim? Yeah, I, I was meant to lean on the wall and the wall wasn't there. Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, I fucked it with you. How did you fuck it with me? See? Nothing. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Good job I didn't have that white teeth thing on that I used to wear. Whoa, your teeth were white. They were painted. Yeah, I know. And I was like, my mum was like, don't wear that tonight, please. Oh, did she? Yeah. She told you not to. Mm. Imagine that would Do you been... remember what you wore? Yep. What did you wear? Like a purple or a blue shirt. Black skins. And Cubans? Cubes, yeah. Oh, those Cubans. Still wear them. Do you? Yeah. Are they still slippery? Yeah. But they don't curl at the end. <laughs> the toe yeah. went up. <laughs> 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 yeah, they did. They like yeah. curled a little bit. Yeah. And then that Shazza was like, oh, is he wearing his elf shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? I was like, absolute cheat. Elf shoes. We were like, what does she mean? What does she mean? Surely not my Cubans. <laughs> Definitely your Cubans. You know what you'd love? Um, Last of Us. Oh, yeah. You'd love that. It's really good. Oh, we'll watch that. Boom. Oh, God, look at us. Ready for bed. I know. I've got to You've go got out. Got to go out. Um, but, guys, we love you. We love you. Thanks for listening to us thanks for hanging out with us rambling we, on we do ramble yeah we do ramble but we love it guilt schemes <laughs> i love how much your feet move <laughs> have you ever noticed i am a mover you just don't sit still no nah, i've got ants in my pants yeah and then there's me like this <laughs> oh my god i'm a bit terrified why where's all the sirens and helicopters coming from i don't know is that a policeman the walking through your gate Start. Oh, no, no. <laughs> anyway. Goodness. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching, guys. We love you so much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nala. Nalu, come on. Lula. Come on, baby. Come on, Lipshen. It's Lipshen. Lipshen. <laughs> Sweet. 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 Sweet.
<laughs> it's because Ottie wears them. <laughs> oh, Ben, shut, shut them up. up. <laughs> shut them up. Right, right we love you. just chill. Yeah, we haven't chilled. Oh. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> oh, yeah, we really hope it was helpful. Yeah, I hope that you could take something away from yeah, that. Yeah, always here for you. Love you.